infinity is that number that mathematicians made up so they wouldn't have to say this. And trying to confuse the everyday folk even more, they said that infinity equals infinity plus one. And I'm sure that you know the drill. You can add seven to infinity, and it's still infinity. Infinity times infinity is still infinity. And if you want to do infinity squared, oh wait, I already said that. To try and explain this, a bloke called David Hilbert thought it would be cool to make this hotel that could fit an infinite number of people inside. An infinite hotel. So basically, this hotel is very big. Like, really big. It has infinite rooms, infinite guests, infinite floors, and an infinite amount of elevator music. I won't go into detail or anything, just read the description if you want some more info or something. But I'm not sure what Hilbert was thinking at the time, because his hotel has gotten some pretty bad reviews. Susan B. said that she was in an elevator for 86,000 years. Grant H. said that it was a scam, because he entered the hotel, meaning that he wasn't in the hotel beforehand, meaning that the hotel wasn't infinite because there was an outside. And not a robot 77 at yahoo.com said that the Danishes tasted funny. So I decided to pay the place a visit, to see what's up and all. I got the key to my room. It was quite awkward to hold because there were so many numbers on it. I walked up to the elevator. Couldn't find my floor button, so I just button mashed for a while. I probably hit the right one. Going up the elevator, I couldn't help but notice a foul stench. Turns out, the previous residents died of dehydration on the way up. 796 years later, I eventually reached floor 4,873,001. My floor. I found my room pretty quickly. Reading my key was the hardest part. I sat down on my bed, found a note saying that my room would be clean next in 17 million years. Poor janitors. They must really struggle. I barely slept. My eyes were red in the morning. I tried to take a shower. The water took another few years to get up the pipes. Refreshed, I went back downstairs to the cafeteria to have some breakfast. I forgot about the 796-year elevator ride back down. Nonetheless, I reached the cafeteria. For some reason, it's the only one in the building. It was packed. There were billions of people eating. I went to the breakfast section. There was no food left. At all. I guess not a robot 77 at yahoo.com was lucky to even get a Danish in the first place. Hungry and a lot older, I checked out. The receptionist asked how my stay was, and I almost cried. I hopped on my computer to submit a bad review, but before I did, I checked what was going on in the news. Robot overlord uprising, mass hysteria, the moon exploding, eh, just the usual. Thanks for watching to the end, you know I say this every vid, but it's true, it means a lot I guess. So yeah, if you wouldn't mind smashing the big red button, you know, that could be nice. I mean, it's really satisfying and stuff. So yeah, have a nice day, enjoy, bye.